Hey folks, it's Ridgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I'm just going to run down this way. Now, we can actually, we can go over to the lighthouse as our very first thing. we got 62 in here. We've got nothing left in that one to get. In the building one, we've got several to get. We could get the gems right now. Uh, smithing, we've got several to get. We could actually unlock three of those right now. One, two, and three. Uh, farming in nature over here, we got the bee friend and the strong alcohol, which we could unlock in just a minute if we wanted to. Uh, this one, we got the random text generator, simple printing press, and then the complex one over there, which we could get. I think we might actually go for those. Uh, theology, we've got these two left still to get, uh, but I'm not going to go for them just yet. So, yeah, I think what I will actually do is I'll go for that one there, which is another zombie thing that we can use, and then we go for the printing press there. And now if we teleport ourselves over to the lighthouse and we speak to the dude over there, before we do anything else at all, trade, and we get that book there, like that, come out of there, and then go into here and we use that book, like that, technologies, We've now got 57 points in there, which means we can unlock that printing press there. So we've got both printing presses, and then we've got the random text generator thing there. Uh, I've got seven points left, so I'm not able to do any of the others. But we've at least got that one. So there's another thing that we've done, another thing we've added onto the pile. I would like to get a couple more zombies set up today, so that uh, we can get timber being transported back to the main house. And then I also want to go up to the quarry and I want to have a look at what's involved with getting a station set up up there. Plus more zombie set up up there as well. Um, and we can start bringing those down. Now we look in here in trade so we, we can get a few eggs from here. These are relatively cheap. And you can get some fried eggs. Fried eggs are um, good for energy as well I think. So that one there, that's going to be 72 copper. Those are, you know, th th that is really dirt cheap. So we'll get, we'll get some of that. I come over here and I speak to Horace. I've got 13 burial certificates there. Which is another 19 silver that I can get. And I can buy some gold and 20 silver. 20 copper even. Those, I think we want those. We could have those with the breakfasts. Right, one, two, three, four, five. I will buy five of those to go with our breakfasts, and we may actually be able to make our breakfasts before the merchant turns up with just those and the cake, and we don't need to worry about any of the rest of it. That would actually be a really cool thing if we can do that. Let's go back and just take a look in our kitchen. I know that we've still got some stuff still to make. I also really love this. we got this little shortcut here, except that uh, now I don't want a shortcut. I want to run all the way down and get this body. We don't have a body turning up tomorrow. So tomorrow might be the day to go and do other things. Um, I can't remember what I need. Oh, no, it's ash and blood to be able to make the zombie thing, which is in here. Yeah, zombie juice. Ash, no, not ash, it's health powder. Health powder is from... Is that the one from cabbages? No. I can't remember what that one's from. Right, what do we got on this body? You are a four and a two. We definitely don't want to be doing anything with that one. That is... That's going to end up being quite a poor quality body, that one will. So we'll just leave that one there. And I want to come out this way. What did I want to do? There was something I just said that I wanted to do. Um, oh, I want to have a look in the kitchen. Right. Let's go and have a look in the kitchen first. We'll have a look in here. And then we go to you. Right. Dinners. Here. This, this is what we want. So, I got egg right there. I haven't made any eggs. So, I go to there. And then I go to gold star egg like that. And then I go up through here. I've got carrot cutlets already. Uh, so, I could make silver lentils. I can already make that. And then if I go here and I go for the cake that I've got... I can already make the silver lentils. And then we've got the we've got those. It's just one more cake that I want to be able to make. Alright, let's go and we'll make some silver lentils. And it's going to be in this one, is it? No, it's going to be in this one. No, it's going to be in this one. There we go. Right, uh, lentil soup. No, that's pumpkin soup. Lasagna, bowl of pumpkin soup. 
Ah, vegetable. Oh, there's pumpkin soup. And then a bowl of pumpkin soup. So it's different, actually. A bowl of lentils. There, that's... But I can do this, and then I can go like that. Uh, I don't have any gold ones, but I do have that. I got a 20% chance of producing gold from this. So I will craft that one. I'm not able to put any more in there. So I'm only able to do one at a time for the bowls. But there's a 20% chance of pulling up something really cool on that. Um, yeah, I, I want to wait for that one. Right, well, while I'm waiting for that one, let's go and make some zombie juice. Because I want some zombies. I want some better zombies. I want better quality zombies. Because then they, they'll they work better for us. So we have a look in here. I will take that body out. That one's got four red skulls. And I'll put you on there. Now you here, you've got four. And you here, you've got three. So we'll leave that one as he is. And then this one here. Right, this is one that I wanted to experiment with. So I had one of these before and it ended up right. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got this. We know what the different ones do. So we add a red and white. That gives us eight in total. Then we add another white. That gives us nine in total. Then we take away two reds. Um, and we turn them into whites. With it, so it stays the same. So we had nine and then nine. So that ends up, by the end of it, with the two, the blood and the fat coming out, we end up with an eleven. So if I was to remove the skull, I start off then with three red and four white at seven. So then I add one of each, which makes nine, and I add another one, which makes ten. I then remove three and add, yeah, so I, that makes ten. And then I bring it back over here and I remove those two. And I still only end up with 11 because I got one red skull. So it doesn't make any difference. It makes no difference. If I take that one out, it'll make no difference at all. If I take the skin off, I end up losing one skull on it. So I can't take the skin off. But uh, removing the skull makes zero difference whatsoever. Um, yeah, interesting that. Now, let's get going with some of this, and we go with that one as well, and then we go to that one, and then we go over to this one over here. Right, I'm going to let those cook up a second. While those are cooking up, I think we'll do a little bit of work on here. So we want to take the fat out of this one, and then we also want to take out the, uh, the, the other bit, which was uh, that one. Uh, take the fat and I want what else do I take? Oh, I took the flesh. I want the fat and one other thing I want is the skin there Take those three items out And then that body is done. That one's another one that can go down for burning So I run that one down here Actually gonna run that one down I drop it there. I got three bodies that I want to burn at the moment So if I drop that one in there like that there I'll make these three ready Get you done. And we'll put them all on. She, I might just... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I normally do, like burn them all at once. But now I'm thinking that I won't do that. I will I will take this one and I will burn them one at a time. Just, just for something different. You know, just a bit of variety. You know, variety is the spice of life and all that. And we come up to here. How are we doing with these? Ooh, you're ready to go. So we take that one, and then we go for the glue. So this adds in another item. Go like that, and like that there. Uh, yep, there we go. So Gooseman X has been telling me for ages that I don't need to be taking skulls out. It's, um, it's a waste of time. And I've now proven that he was right, and I should have listened to him. This body here, with three red and three white, that'll end up being a ten, I think, by the end of it. Uh, so I'm going to take that one out. We want two red and four white on a six. Or we want anything you know, with a seven or higher. And, well, I say anything with a seven or higher. If we get a seven turn up, and that's got three, I, I still, I'm not sure that's actually any good at all to us. Genuinely, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure at the moment. Anyway, we'll bring this one down here, and we'll drop you on there, and we'll start you going. And then we'll go back in. There's one more that we want to get. That's still busy cooking. Uh, still, well, still busy making. And we'll take that one out of there. 
Bring this one over to the slab and put that one through. So some of the bodies are over in the graveyard. We will actually be able to work our way through those and put them into the good side of the graveyard and it'll still be beneficial. Some of them we won't. Some of them won't be any good for that, but some of them will actually be all right to um, take out, do some embalming on them and then put them back in again. Now uh, we're getting close to the end of the day. So we're gonna stop there. Actually, no, I'm gonna take that one out, take the body. It's getting very close to the end of the day, actually. So I'm going to run down here. I'm going to leave the body. I'm not going to worry about doing anything else to the bodies down there. I'm going to put you on there, and I'm going to do that. Go past that one. I'm going to run up this way, straight into the front of the church, and we're going to say our daily prayers. Then I'm going to go back through, and we're going to do some other stuff. So we're 317 on the graveyard at the moment. We come up. Actually, I don't have my prayer book, so I need to go down this way and grab it. I've got it just here, so it's okay. There, see? Told you I had it. And we go up and we say our daily prayer. And then once we've done that, we can then go back and um, get the ash that's left over from the other body down uh, that, that we went and burnt. And we want to make another marble columbarium and put that into the graveyard as well. Donations are always welcome, my brethren. 165 per person. Just run down here and get our 165 per person. 22. We get the 1268, which seems to be the standard. And then we get 22 additional down here. So now we have uh, 2 gold 47 at the moment. That's not too shabby. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse than that. So we can run back down here and I can leave that behind there. Uh, may as well drop that behind. I've got one of those going to want more of them at some point. I've got bat wings. I want to do something with the bat wings. I, it's zombies that I mostly want. The zombie juice that I want. Let me put the that down there. Uh, oh, hang on. In order to make the zombie juice, do I need... Oh, I don't need any glass, but I will need glass to make my next lot of other things. Right. Two jars of zombie juice. That's what I want here. Those there, those are going to make our zombie juice. Just quickly do this one. There we go. And then I want to come down here. So now I'm ready to put the silver in. Like that. And the same onto you. And then onto this one. And the next big thing that we're going to need to do is actually... I need a load more sand. Although, I, do I have a load of sand? I might have a load of sand. I am going to need more sand so that I can come back up and... Well, I want to grab you. Uh, I, yeah, I need to make a load more glass things. I leave this. I'm gonna take that salt with me now because I've got more salt up at the top, up in the house. Um, yeah, up this way. I've got all oh, the carrots are done, so I can put that zombie doing another round of carrots. I'm gonna have a look in here. We've got 24 seeds. It says 34 carrots there. If I do that and then I go here, it goes 28 carrots. It always seems to change. So I'm never quite sure how many carrots I've got. 30. It got me 30 that time. Uh, I won't take them with me. I'll just leave the carrots there. They do seem to be doing something. I don't know if I'm getting any crop residue from it, though. Maybe that's just a thing that we don't get with it, is crop residue. So maybe we will have to do some of it ourselves as well. There we go. We've got a two bowls of lentils. So we go back and we make some more bowls of lentils in here. And I go up like that so that I get some better quality ones. There we go. We get those cooking. And we have a look in here. So I've got salt that I want to leave behind. I can't leave any more salt behind. I've got 30 in there. Uh, I do want to leave that behind. I'm actually going to want to work through that in a minute. The fat I should have left down at the bottom, which I didn't, which was a mistake. That's fine. Um... Right, fine. We'll do this. I will go in here and I will prepare the meat. White fish. Ah, raw sliced meat. That's the one that I want. So we work all the way up through here. We've got 14 of these now. We're going to want a load of these because we want to make a load of burgers. So if we do a load of these now, then we can get some sleep. We should, as long as we get enough bowls of lentils. Oh, I need to make another cake. I have to make another cake as well. So we've got to make cake, and we've got to get bowls of lentils, and we might actually be able to get the Merchant's Quest done today. 
There's some done. We've got some. We got two more lots of lentils. Uh. Yeah, one of those. That uh, cake. Cake, 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 cake. There. <gasps> berries. Right. I got to get berries for that. Okay. We can go and we can go and do that. We can do it. It's okay. Bowl well, of lentils right there. We want to make that one right there. So that one's cooking. I'll finish doing this a minute. And we don't want to be picking these up. We want to actually put them back into the chest. We'll drop them into the chest in a minute. Then we can rush off and we can get the next bit. We've got one day left. Not enough energy. There. Now I have enough energy. Put that going into there. And then we go down to you. Right. So there's 14 of them. And I'll leave the salt behind as well. I've got eggs right there. Got eggs. Uh, so it is just the berries that I need. So let me go out and hunt around for some berries. I can buy some berry bushes from the witch, from Clotho, and I haven't done that yet. That's something that I do need to do, is buy berry bushes from her. And then it'll make the whenever we want berries a lot easier. But there's four berries, and there'll be some more berries right there. There's another eight. And not another eight. There's four berries there, so it makes eight altogether. Anything else? Nothing else at the moment. Oh! There is another thing we want to do. We want to go down here and we want to deal with these in here. We've got one more lot of embalming to put going. So we'll do that a second. Craft to you and then we can go to you and craft that one there. And we can go to you and we can craft that one there. And we can go to you and we can craft that one on there. Right. That's that bit doing. We can go back out. We can go back up to our house. So if we've got all of those down there, uh, what do we want to do next? We're going we're gonna to want to create a couple of those zombies. So there we go, we got that one. And then I want to go in here and I want to go to a cake. Like that. So there's one cake cooking. And then I want to look in here. And it's this one. Dinner! That's what I'm after. Right. Gold quality of these. That actually pulls it down. If I use the carrot cutlets, it actually deteriorates the quality of it by quite a long way. That goes up to 97. I don't have a gold quality one there, but I goes to 97% on there. And then I goes to, through to here onto this one. That gives me a 97% chance of pulling up a gold dinner. I'd say that's pretty good. So we go with that one. And I'll work this through. If this comes up with a silver dinner, I'm going to be very disappointed. Achievement unlocked. Dream dinner. If I actually got to, I got to do this every time. I can't go down. I got to do it up like that. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. Right. We got pies here. If I was to make a gold star grape pie, that would push that way up, actually. The cake does, although the cake does go up, yeah, by quite a long way there. Um, carrots and then the lentils and then the silver star lentils. That goes all the way up there. So there's another one. There's our final cake. So I'm already making gold quality stuff out in the garden. I don't need to worry about that, just as long as I make these other ones here. I've got that one there. Uh, the lentil soup, and then the cake, like that. We craft that one. So that makes three. I've just got two more to do. There we go. We've now got the last one. Put that in there. And I've got five dinners. That should be five. It is five gold star dinners. Known NPCs, merchant, bring the merchant five gold star dinners, and a trade license. Now, the trade license is going to be slightly more tricky. I don't have a trade license at the moment. Um, and in order to get one, I think I need to go and see Snake for that, don't I? Sure, it's something to do with Snake. Overall, still, I don't need to worry about it right now. Now, let's have a look in here. I'll leave that one behind there. I've... Used up some milk and some other things. I've got zombie juice. Ooh, no, that was another thing I wanted. These. I need porcelain pitchers and then the ash as well. So if I look in here, I will drop that ash down there. Uh, the bowls, the ceramic bowl, I will take out. And then I need to go outside. So, oh, there we go. We've got that next one. Uh, porcelain pitchers. Ceramic jugs is from there. Ceramic bowls. I've got nine at the moment. Let me have a look in here. Leave that behind. So I'm going to need to make some more of those. Let's go and get this body a minute. I've also got the other bodies that we can get those set up and doing something with. So this is going to enable us to be able to build a whole load of extra stuff. 
Um, and like get loads more zombies running. What have we got in here? That is a seven quality. If that was a six, I could turn that up to an eight. No, because that's got four on it. Four and three. So I add two. That makes a nine. And then I add one more that makes ten. And then remove everything away. That's still going to be a ten. That's going to finish up as a ten. I'm going to put that one and keep it on ice so that it does sort of cool down. Empty that table there. This is going to be a really good quality. I'm not putting this one in the graveyard. I'm going to use this one. So we take the blood out and that removes one that turns that red skull into a white skull, basically. Then we take out the next one and this adds another skull. All we're doing now is we're adding one more white skull. So we've now got this one here that has got three, six... 9, 10, 11 skulls on that one. It should be a pretty good quality zombie. We drop you on there. We need a zombie juice and we need 10 faith to resurrect this one. So that one will zap up like that. And then I want to carry this one all the way up and start it working up here. I'm hoping that I can do this like that so that I can take two of them at once. So I need another zombie in here. What are you like? You'll do. You're going to be the same, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Uh, extract the blood. And we'll take the fat out as well. Not enough. There. Get that one out. And then the fat out of that one as well. Work that one. I'm going to leave the others. Yes. Just. Just enough to take that one off. Right. So I bring that one down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take it out that way. I need to bring it over this way. I bring it down and around, and I put it on there. Resurrect that one. So I've used up another zombie juice. That's all the rest of the zombie juice that I've got. We take you, and we bring you up this way. If I look at you, if I drop you on this table up here, does that tell me what you like? 28%. See, that's pretty good. That, that is quite good on the whole work efficiency, the 28%. I'm quite pleased with that. Our merchant is ready now. So, you know what? No, I'm not going to go and see the merchant yet. I'm going to shove these zombies over. It does appear that I can take two at once with relative ease. And then I come up through here. I need to just nudge it back that way a little bit. This way. Through there like that. And then up this way. Go through that little gap, and then we come up here, and we've got two zombies that we can put to work in here. So I bring the first one in. Where do I put you? Put. So he will now start working, and he will chop those down. And then you over here, I bring you over this side, and I put you in there. Um, Cargo, he's transporting logs. And he should just take those down and drop them into the next place. I want to watch this go through, but at the same time, I also want to sleep so that I can go and see the, um... Yeah, we'll sleep. We'll come back to that. It is the middle of the day. Well, it's actually after the middle of the day now. We're extremely refreshed. We're feeling wonderful. And it is the middle of the day. And look, we've got a log in here, so our zombie is doing what he's supposed to do. We won't worry about that for a minute. We want to go use, and we want to get over to the dead horse. We ignore that lot. We're going to come down here, and we want to speak to this guy, and we want to give him these dinners. We don't have the trade license yet. That's something that we're going to need to work on, but we take that one. It wasn't easy, but I made them. <coughs> Looks great. You're a real chef. Tomorrow, the court will flood with rumors about tonight's dinner. Come see me next week, and I'll tell you how it went. Right. Discuss strategy with the merchant. We have to do that next week. We want to try and get the trade license. I think we got to speak to Snake to get that one. Or we, you know, um, I don't know if there's another way to get that one, but I'm pretty sure it's Snake who has, like, the the main input on it. If I go this way, and then I go up round here like this, and then I can go up through that one, up there like that. Is there, now that I've cleared that, is there anything extra that I can make? No. Right, there's nothing extra that I can do there. So next, I want to go and have a look at the zombies out here. See, I've got two. Oh, I've got a body. Okay, let's go and deal with the body. And I might take a break from the bodies coming in soon. I might let him use up the rest of these carrots that are down here. Um, 
He's only got 15, so we've got three bodies left to come in. And then take a break from the bodies coming in after that. So we're going to have a look at you. What are you like? Uh, ooh. What does that end up being? Um, trying to run a calculation in my skull at the moment. I think that ends up being a 10. So if that ends up being a we'll, we'll put it onto here. Because those both end up, yeah, those both will end up being a 10. So we can use them in the graveyard, but they're not going to be particularly wonderful. Empty that one out. And then you can, yeah, if I take that bit out there, and you'll end up going, we'll take you over to the graveyard and we'll drop you in there. And then we've got a couple more bodies that are going to turn up. What did I just take out then? Please tell me I took the fat out just then. Uh... Oh, Frith, you idiot. You absolute moron. Oh, I can I can put it back. I can put it back. I can actually put it back now. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, yes. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, and then I take the blood out. Okay. I accidentally took the flesh out. I didn't mean to do that. There. Okay, so you can take it. You can put back in the bad bits that have spoiled the body. And then, um... It ends up working out alright. I actually really like that idea. That's that's actually really good. It's very convenient. Definitely convenient for me. And we'll put that one in there. Right, I'm getting extremely croaky at the moment. Uh, I get like this at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I don't know if i got any more fences in the graveyard. I've definitely got more fences back home. And we've got the ability to go and make more fences back home. I don't think I've got any more spare ones in the graveyard. Let's have a look. How many have we got here? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. That one goes in the left-hand side of the graveyard. We'll take you. So those other two, I think those end up being 10s, which we'll put in on this side. Although, really, I just want to kind of empty that side out now. I'm not really too worried about it. I've got... Fen All I've got at the moment on this side is um, loads of graveyard fences. So I'll put you in there. Cover you back over. And do I have any more fences available? Oh, I got loads of them here. Right, I got enough to fill all of these, cover all of these over. So put you onto there, and then I go to this one. We've got another grey fence, we put that one on there. I've got three exhumation orders that I can also use. Put you in there. Another grave one down here, and get you going. Is that it? Oh, no, nope, I'm able to do that one. Snake is going to be here any minute. Snake is probably there already and I haven't seen him. I need to go. I need to go and see if I can see Snake because I missed him last time, didn't I? So I'm not sure what time he turns up. Uh, that one there and I got this one here which is going to be the last grey fence. We'll put that one in. There we go. I'm hoping this is all... Yeah, that's five. Right, that's all marble ones. We've now got 344 quality in the graveyard. Which is pretty good. Although Gooseman X was showing off, he, he linked a photo, um, a photo, a picture, a screenshot, um, very recently. Whether it was in the last episode or the one before, showing off his graveyard. And it's got to be said, slightly higher than mine. Ever so slightly higher than mine, right. Town Pass, Restoration Tools, Royal Stamp. Okay, uh, about that necklace. I was told you could get some illegal stuff for me. I've spent the money. Bought some instructions for the key, so unless you know how to turn dust into gold, then just find that necklace for her, or can't you handle it? I'm Snake. I can find everything and everyone in the town. I don't know where this necklace is, I just can't. You know, it's really none of your business. I need to gain his trust. Maybe then he'll tell me more. Huh. Right, so we, we've got to work on that. If I give him the bloody nails and the bucket of blood, he's going to be happier. We can make that downstairs. Uh, downstairs, we, we can make that down here. So let's, uh, let's, let's eat more cutlets for our energy. Rather than worrying about um, getting energy any other way. Come in this way. And right, in here, bucket of blood. No, not there. No, not there. No, not there. Right, I can make the bucket of blood from that one. Like that. I can only make one because I only have the flitches for one. So what about the nails? Where do I craft the nails? Is it on here? There was a thing somewhere for the nails. 
Or is the nails the one that I've got to do downstairs? I think maybe the nails is the one that I've got to do downstairs. I can craft a bucket of blood right here. But those nails, I don't see anywhere to do the nails. Do you? Because I don't. I think the nails we got to go into the dungeon to get. As I'm looking down, I've got the random text generator and I've got the printing press there. That's another thing that I want to make. Right, let's take this bucket of blood up and see him. So that's, that's going to make him a little bit happier. Oh, no. How many did I want? Was it one or two? I can't actually remember now. It's five bloodied nails, I think. But this one here... I don't think we need that many. Right, let's speak to him. Give him the bucket of blood. Yeah. And then the bloody nails. I need five of those, but I think those I can only get. Oh, pagan blood. That'll work. I don't like you, but your help will be taken into account. At least he's honest. Uh, I need a town pass. He's given me a town pass. Leave. Right, we've got the town pass. This is the other thing that I've been wanting to look at. Because you cannot get out. You can't go to town without a town pass. So we can now go to town, in theory. And we want to have a look at the map. So the town pass was... It's here. It's in town. So we want to we wanna teleport into the village. There. And we go teleport. Use. Go to the dead horse. I've got five. I'm not going to worry about them. Nope. I'm going to town. I'm going to town. I've finally got the town pass. I'm able to go into the town. It's the thing we've all been waiting for. They've been talking about this for absolutely ages. Talk. The path to the town is closed. You need a town pass. Continue to the town. Come right ahead and enjoy your visit to town. It's not doing anything. Oh, now it is. And there you have it. Boom! We died. You have died. That's it. Sad, what the heck was that? I think I was struck by lightning on my way to the town. Mm, I felt it. An ancient and powerful rage. Bounce on over here immediately. It would seem that someone or something of greater power doesn't want you in the town. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure that if you keep trying things like that, things will end badly for you. Like, I'm a talking skull now too. Bad. But I need to go there. There's some magic items I need to track down. I need to go home. I'm a little offended that you're trying to leave me. But as your friend, I suggest you talk to Snake in Church Cellar. I think he'll be able to find those items for you. He's quite a nimble rogue. You know Snake? I talk with him all the time. I hide in a pile of dead skulls and we talk. He thinks I'm his inner voice, so he's very open with me. Ha ha ha! Did he tell you anything interesting? As his inner voice, I find that question most unethical. I'll talk with Snake. Maybe he'll be able to help. So there we go. I knew I'd been told that the whole thing with the town was actually this big troll by the devs. And I think it's absolutely brilliant the way they've done that. That is absolutely awesome. They've been telling us to go to town for absolutely ages. And it turns out that we're not allowed to go to town at all. So we're never going to get to see the town. Um, unless they add it in, in, some, in something extra. But uh, that is brilliant. That's genuinely brilliant. Can you help me find something in the town? I can find anything, just name it. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. That's some weird stuff. As you may have noticed, I'm working on a very important project right now, so I'm a little short on time. But if you help me, maybe I'll help you. So we've got to get him up to 60 now in order to be happy. Right, uh, that is going to require going down into the dungeon, so we'll have to do that. It's another thing on our to-do list. But at least we've done a load of stuff with him. We've, we've spoken to him. We've, we've done things. And we've, we've worked on stuff. Uh, now what? Not sure what to do next. I know what is, there is one thing I want to do. I want to see this zombie in action. And I also... We, we'll go back. We'll deal with the printing press another time. I'm not going to do that now. I know that I've unlocked the technology. But I will deal with it another time. Uh, I've got craft in here. Right, wooden bullet, uh, bullets, billets, wooden billets. I want some wooden planks, actually. Uh, so, yeah, we'll we'll make some wooden planks here. There's craft. I'll... I'll do set... Uh, I'll do eight lots of them, and then I'll do... There he is! I'll do... Eight lots of them. He carried in some more timber. Look at that. That's brilliant. 
How many does he carry all in one go? Let's... Oh, okay. Let me go and deal with that body. Like I said, I'm going to take a break from the bodies. I'm not going to put any more carrots in. Once we've used up the carrots that are there, we'll take a break from bodies, and then we'll only work through the ones that are in the graveyard, because I don't think I can remove the ones here. So I've got two more bodies to come, and then that'll be it. And then we've got to wait until we've sort of dealt with them. Okay, so what are you? Three on a seven. That's actually not too bad. That one will be all right. Uh, we'll drop you on there in a minute. And we can come back out. And let's go this way. I want to catch up with that zombie. And I want to see how many logs he carries, like, all in one go. Uh, what else was it I wanted? I also need to go up to the quarry. And I need to set stuff up up there. I want to get more glass being produced so that I'm able to deal with all the new bodies that are coming in. There he goes. He's running down through. So what have we got up this way? There's a load of bats there. So he's just working through and he's doing a load of stuff there. I'm going to chase his zombie down and we'll see how many he gives us. You can clearly see from this zombie that he is not human. Okay? My long-standing reasoning that it's okay to eat the flesh off, the, zomb off the, the bodies because they are not human has now been proven. Absolutely 100% proven. So what about... If I go here to take... There. Ah, uh, it just tells us the work efficiency of him. Right, so he's busy working through, and I've now got... Uh, I've got some flitches in there. I don't have much in the way of river sand. And then I'll have some more wooden planks and a whole load of other stuff that's going to be really cool. But right now, we want to go up here, that, and go to the quarry. So we've got some stuff up here that I wanted to set up. Um, I'm not quite sure how we go about setting it up. There, craft and work. So it looks like... What's this over here, then? Oh, no, that's just that's our uh, normal stone there, so we can... Oh, wait a minute. That's a different type of stone. That's a different stone deposit than we had before, isn't it? I don't remember needing the wedges. Okay, build on here. Stone quarry right, stone quarry left. Marble quarry right and left. Zombie ore mine right and left. And then porter station. I need clean paper for that. Why do I need clean paper for that? I don't understand why I need paper for that. That, that does not make sense to me. Uh, pickaxe, one. 100%. I've got that. Oh, it's because it's in the chest over here. I left it there, didn't I? And I don't need to repair it. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, so I need, in order to build, we're going to do the marble quarry, I think. We'll do that one first. Uh, no, we won't. We'll do the ore mine because that's the one we want. So we want to make sure that we've got another pickaxe and we've got 16 flitches up here in order to be able to do that. Uh, but I'm not actually ready to do that yet. I've run out of time and I've got a long way to go. i tell you what. We will we'll run home. We will run home for this one. What is this? What is that? Is that a thing? That is not a thing. I thought it might be a thing, but it's not a thing. Ignore that. So we want to go across here. And, yeah, we'll just follow the yellow brick road all the way back home. There's the giant tree and the lumber station and everything. So we come on past there. See, he's got two there. Uh, one there so far. He'll have another one in a minute. And that, that zombie does appear to take quite a few of them. I might as well pick some berries while I'm here, I suppose. There we go. Four berries. These berries are only two. Carrots are five. Right, so there's another one. So he will just keep going until he fills that up completely, utterly, totally, 100%. And there's the zombie. He's coming back up. And he should get all of them. Which way does he go? He goes in there. And he does. He's carrying both of them. So there's two there that he's going to carry. And he's going to lug them all the way back down to the station down the bottom. It's going to take him a little while to get through, but he will get there eventually. I'm going to just quickly go in here and grab some honey, because I can grab some honey. Um, and I might get a bee. As I did. I got a bee. We're slowly, slowly accumulating bees. Very slowly. We have got a few. I'm not going to burn up our bees. We we're going to want them. 
Although, we haven't actually really wanted the bees yet. I don't know if there's ever actually like a quest that we will be using them on. But look at this zombie go. He's highly efficient. I think it's because we've got a really top-notch zombie. And you, you can get some really good quality ones, apparently. So I've heard. Uh, I've heard rumours. Uh, yeah, look. See, now I've opened the inventory. Everything is paused. So I've got polished bricks of marble in here and pieces of marble in advance. I've got white powders there. Flitches, I've got 16. That's what I wanted. I want 16 flitches. I'm going to leave one behind. So I've got exactly 16 because it bugs me. Um, what else did I want? I've got the nails. Oh, I know what I wanted. I wanted a... One of these. It was a pickaxe one. I cannot make the pickaxe one. The other one that I need because I don't have the iron yet on uh, from up the top. So I need to get some iron. And... I could do with going to see Clotho, so I could go and get it from her. He's busy making those. What did I want the... I can't remember what I wanted those other bits of timber for. I'm sure I wanted them for something. Anyway, I have run out of time for today, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to call it um, call it a, a day now. Uh, what do we got? Where's my... Where are my bees? Where did I leave the bees? There. Right. I'll put that one there. And I got some honey as well. So we've got 14 jars of honey now. I've got some berries, which I will leave up here. So there I can do some more cooking with them. Uh, I've got 27 carrots at the moment. I'm going to drop them in there. And I'm going to make a load more carrot cutlets because they're quite useful. And then we're going to call it quits. Right. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.